Hey guys, Gunther Vinson, Director of Marketing for Towmate. Back here with you again, I got Chris Anderson. How you doing, man? Hey, I'm doing well, how are you today? Doing good, man. We got some beautiful weather out, and uh, I know you just came back from a, a nice trip, an awesome sales trip, and uh... Yeah, that's right, went down and visited uh, a customer down in Florida, and uh, kind of brought them up to speed on some, on some of the things that we're doing. I kind of wanted to give everybody uh, some news on Tomate. Uh, a couple of things been going on that um, we hadn't had an opportunity to really share on at least on this platform yet. So got some exciting developments. Uh, one of which is uh, we are expanding our pick and place department. So a lot of folks may not know this, but we currently build our circuit boards in house and have for a few years now. Uh, we've got a full robotics department where we populate our circuit boards with components. Uh, once they come out of that department, they go on to get wired and programmed and sealed up in lenses or molded into transmitters. Uh, well, that department's expanding, so uh, we'll soon have uh, greater production capabilities, which equals uh, lower lead times, even though we pride ourselves on being pretty quick with that anyway. So when we say made in the USA, we're not kidding. We're really made in the USA. Right, right. So we try to get as many processes in house as, as we can that you know make sense, and uh, that's one of them where we can control the quality, you know, have our finger on the pulse of quality uh, as well as supply. So that's some exciting news. We'll be uh, moving that department into their new. I think it's like a five thousand square foot. Uh, facility where they'll be set up now and uh, I think we're adding a machine or two as well so things are ramping up here at Tomate. Wow very cool. Yeah so on uh, another another news flash for you um, we we recently acquired a company called Mobile Control Systems uh, now this is a company that manufactures wireless remotes for hydraulics uh, for your tow trucks your beds winches uh, things of that nature, and uh, we've we've been manufacturing the electronics for them for years, uh, but now we have actually fully uh, acquired the business and moved them right next door. So another product line that that we'll be uh, continuing to offer and expand upon. And now uh, I know I usually do a lot of the talking, but I've got Gunther, our our director of marketing here, who uh, he's kind of had to digest a lot of the, the new material, sales material and things for these products. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about them? Sure. Yeah, I've been working a lot on the mobile controls product project. Uh, I've been having to learn a lot about it. I've learned that uh, it's a pretty impressive system, actually. What mobile controls is, is it's a wireless hydraulic control system works on your tow trucks, works on cranes, works on fracking equipment. Basically anything that has a hydraulic control, you can now control it wirelessly. Uh, the real cool thing about mobile controls is the way that it's operated. Now a standard wireless hydraulic controller will have these big long operator rods. We have these nice small operators here, as you see that just bolts on the back of the spool. It's low profile. It's not going to get damaged in operation or in travel. It's very heavy duty as well. And these things, I mean, they're very reliable. So I really love the system that we have. Uh, it goes from two to 18 channels, wireless control. Also has air actuation or electric actuation. So you can choose what you need for your vehicle or your application. It's actually a pretty impressive system, man. Yeah. We also do have a plug and play system for many different truck manufacturers. So if you have a Miller or a Jardin or another you know, uh, well-known manufacturer, you can just simply have a plug and play system plugs right in and operates the system with just a simple plug and play system. Right, so that, <laughs> that's for the trucks that have a pendant controller already. Uh, so instead of having uh, your pendant controller with you know your 12 foot cable or what have you. Uh, we've got a plug and play system. Uh, I think this one's for Jardan. Uh, you just plug this in, this green wire goes to ground and you're up and away. Uh, we've recently redesigned our controls. They're super heavy duty now. Um, and uh, you've got a little access panel for changing batteries, but uh, they come with uh, a really high capacity lithium cell in there um, but yeah I mean they're tough as nails and uh, also backed with the lifetime warranty so uh, made in the USA backed with a lifetime warranty so it's a natural fit with the Tomate product line 
and uh, you can expect to see some cool innovations as we kind of with as a result of the marriage between the two companies. Um, you know, we'll, we'll be uh, doing some things that integrate multiple technologies over time. But as it stands right now, um, you know, it's a great line. And uh, again, you know, made in the USA and lifetime warranty. Exactly. Uh, we do have our PLC integration with the mobile controls right now, which means you can, if you have a PLC light system on your truck right now, you're able to control the mobile control system with that controller that you're already controlling the lights with. So it makes it a really powerful system when you start pairing up with the Tomate products. So yeah, some pretty cool stuff that, that we've got going and that we're refining and uh, expect to see big things. Awesome. Well, man, uh, I appreciate you coming in again. Hey, I appreciate you uh, taking the reins and doing some of the talking today. Hey, no problem, man. I'm excited about this product line. This is really important stuff. I can see a lot of awesome applications for it. Right. It's yeah. been around for quite a while, but now we got our hands in it. So Right, and I know already there have been some product changes um, with, the, uh, with the air valve um, systems. I believe that... Uh, there's now a redundancy master valve that's uh, a second layer of protection. So if there's ever any bleed on a channel uh, from a, a, a valve getting stuck slightly open or an operator being slightly open, letting some of that air through, uh, there's a master valve in front of that now so that it, it's not going to continue on that function when it should be off. So that's just one of the recent improvements that's been made and another layer of safety. And uh, we're excited to continue on this path. So. Very cool, man. Well, we appreciate you guys watching us again, and check us next week. Thanks a lot. Thank you.